Welcome back guys to part 205 of Summertime Saga. I'm Miss Kitty TK and I promise in this episode I think you won't be so much patient as the last one. So we feel rested and I should get ready for school. Mmm, something smells really good. Debbie must be making breakfast downstairs. I should go say good morning to her. Alright. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Debbie. Jenny? Ah. What smells good? Oh, I'm making sausage and egg casserole. That sounds amazing. Well, there's plenty for everyone. Why don't you two go take a set on the table and I'll bring you some. Sweet. Uh, no thanks. You don't want any. I just told you I'm doing a Jewish cleanse. A Jewish cleanse? What the heck is that? It means I'm only drinking juice for the next three days, dummy. Okay, why? I need to get rid of these love handles before beach season. What love handles? You look fine. Don't be gross. I don't think people do juice cleanses to lose weight, dear. Um, yes they do. I was reading about it online. Well, I think it sounds stupid. You're stupid. Enough. I'm tired of you two fighting all the time. He started first. I did not. I said enough. Dun -dun. Oh, that's probably the police lady coming to check in us. Police lady? Miss Kitty, would you go and let her in, please? Oh, yeah, okay. Thanks, sweetie. Why are the police stopping by to check in on us? Oh. A Jewish cleanse with apple juice. <laughs> what a moron. And, um, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Alright. So, um, who's there? When I opened the door, I was greeted not by a police lady, but instead a stern and ugly looking thug, all dressed in black. His tattoos and demeanor just screamed bad news. And his greasy smile sent chills up my spine. Can I help you? Nice place. Um, thanks. Hmm, am I tr thinking you're Frank's son? Yes. You, you knew my dad. Ha. Huh. Yes, you could say this. Where is nice lady who takes care of you? Uh, she's, uh, who are you? Who I am? I am a man at door. I am man asking to see nice lady responsible for you. Lady who owes us big money. Big money? Look man, we don't know anything about any of this. I really think you've made a mistake or something. Ah, uh, <laughs> talking, talking. Your father liked talking too, you know. He like he talk all the way to the end. You make mistake. I know. Take money. Yep, yep, yep. Like frightened little bunny. Boss wants no more talking. He wants money back. You tell nice lady to be smart and pay up. I, I think you should leave now. Yes. Yeah, so this little bunny does have spine. I guess apple can fall from tree. It was that moment Harold's partner, Yumi, pulled up in the squad car. <laughs> Police involvement not so good for you. Not so good idea for a nice lady either. You give her message. You tell her I come back here and things will get ugly. Duh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh shit, so creepy. <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm just old friend of family, come to pay respects. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Bah, I've no time for questions. Much to do. I go now. <laughs> no, you hold on just one second. Oh, are you planning to arrest me, officer? N no, but... Hmm, I did not think so. See you soon, Leonard Bunny. <laughs> Lock the door, kid. Whew. What's going on? Who, who was that? Bad news is who that was. Pretty sure it's the guy who's been threatening you on the phone. Oh, I need to call this in. 
Oh my goodness. Are you alright? He didn't try and hurt you, did he? No, I'm fine. What did he say? He wanted money and he mentioned that. Oh, sweetie. Debbie, I think he had something to do with Dad's death. Oh, shh, it's okay. He's gone now. Everything is going to be alright. Come on, let's go sit down in the living room and see what the police officer can tell us. Yeah, okay. That's correct, sir. He can't have gone far. What? No, I don't understand, sir. We can't just... Yes. <sighs> yes, sir. Very well. What's happening? Yeah, shouldn't you be calling for backup or something? We put on APB, our patrolman. They're looking for the car now. I need to get a statement from you. A statement? You mean you're not going after that guy? No, I've been expressly ordered not to pursue him. But he was making threats. I know. And I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, it's very important that you tell me exactly what he said to you. Um, I'm not sure. Everything happened so fast. That's understandable. This is a very stressful situation. Let's just take a moment to break, to breath and calm down, alright? Yeah, okay. <sighs> very good. Now, I need you to focus, Miss Kitty. Mm -hmm. What did the man say to you when you opened the door? He said, nice place. Okay, good. Then what did he say? He said, I looked like my father, and then he asked after Debbie. Good. What next? He said his boss was done talking, and, and they wanted their money back. Pfft, how can we give back something he never took? He said he mentioned his boss. Yes. Did you say her name? No. Ah, uh, all right. Anything else? Yeah, he said if we didn't pay up, he'd be back. And that next time, things will get ugly. Oh, is that all they said? I think so. <gasps> Thank you for your cooperation. Are you going to tell us who that man was? Uh, truthfully, Mom, we don't know who he is. All I can tell you is that he's part of a criminal organization that's recently set up shop here in Somerville. A criminal organization? We are still trying to get a grip on the situation, but for now, my best advice for you both is to remain calm and stay vigilant. If they call, just hang up. If anyone suspicious comes knocking your door, do not answer and phone the police immediately. That's your advice. Lay low and don't give them any incentive. I'm going to be personally monitoring your neighborhood while my partner Harold gets to the bottom of all this, okay? I don't like this. Everything is going to be fine. We'll keep you safe, I assure you. Mom, can you help me set up a schedule? Mm? Just the overview of everyone's weekly routine. I yeah, sure. Thank you. I don't like this one bit. <sighs> I need some hair. Let's just go out. It's terrible, really. Well, I just need to do something else for a while and process. And process. Okay, so... Let's go this way. And let's see. There must be something I should do here somewhere. I mean, it's not possible that there's really no hint about what should I do. Oh man, this is so heavy actually. Miss Kitty, you better be training us your ass off at the gym. Alright, blah 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 blah. Dexter, Ronda, the coach. Well, let's just talk to some of them. I mean, it should be good. Hey Ronda, how are you? I'm doing fine. The question is, have you been training? No. Then stop moving those lips and start moving those legs. Never mind, it's just something my dad always says. Anyway, you better hurry up because the trials are coming up fast. Let's just leave. There's nothing to see it. Or to say. I thought I smelled a little bitch. Screw Dexter. What did you say? Blah 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 Whatever. Where do I train? Nothing. Blah 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 blah. 
Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Leave. Go back to the school hallway. Yeah, it's already 10 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. This was 205. See you in the next video. Hopefully looking forward for some hints. Bye. Love you so much.